So I'm quite lucky. I haven't been doing research for a few years now, but I've been a science journalist for the last decade. And it happens every week, um, the Feynman phrase, the, the pleasure of finding something out, that when a new paper lands on my desk and um, mix up my quotes now, it's not, it's not the uh, eureka moment that really turns you on. It's the, uh, as when, what Asimov describes as when you respond by going, hmm, that's really interesting. And I see it happen with me and my journalist colleagues. You see something and just go, holy crap, is that right? Can that possibly be right? That's, that is amazing. And we see it, I see it particularly in new fossils. And I see it particularly in astrophysics because that's just all baffling. It doesn't make sense to anyone. So part of my training is human genetics. And human genetics became genomics in the 21st century. And the big revelation about human genetics and the human genome that happened in about 2001 to five was that we actually know bugger all about the human genome. And that's a good thing. That's a good way for science to proceed. And it's an enjoyable way for science to proceed because you, when you realize how little you know, you begin to see how much more there is to find out. And I find that really rewarding and really exciting. And that's happened a number of times in the last decade since, since I've been reporting on genetics as we find out how little we know. And, and also, it's nice that the, the sort of hubris puncturing moments when you think a field is sorted and you come out with a degree in, in genetics and then you do a PhD in genetics, you come to the end of that process and you think, well, you know, I, I've, got, I've got this down now. I pretty much know how genes and how DNA works. And then someone publishes a paper which says, actually, you know what, it doesn't work like that at all. Or um, like uh, last year, a big study showing how much more of the genome was active than we previously thought. Or that genes don't account for large proportions of heredity. These are things that we get taught because they have to be taught in a simplistic way. But once you get into the, the uh, actuality of research science, you find out more and more of how little we know. And that's, that, I, I, that's really exciting.